Hey everyone, uh, my name's Mike, and I just wanted to personally introduce this video because it's a little different than some of my other ones. Basically, I was filming earlier this week, and I saw a homeless person on the street holding a sign and asking for money. Uh, his sign said, God bless, at the bottom of it, and my idea was to offer him $20 to cross the word God out of his sign. Um, now, this guy was living out of an RV with his wife and kid, and it was probably 30 degrees out, and so I approached this guy, and I made my pitch. Introduce yourself. Who, what's your name? Aaron. Aaron. Okay. Now, this is the Miracle Bus? Yes, it is. Is this right? Yes, it okay. is. Okay, that's pretty nice, dude. Full with the Holy Spirit. Full of the Holy Spirit. Yes. <laughs> so, this is what we're doing. Uh, I am not a big fan of religion. Okay. And I noticed your sign says, God bless. Yes. So, what I wanted to do is I wanted to pitch something to you. Okay. I'll give you some money if we cross the God out. I'm going to have to say no. Don't you think it's kind of silly that you're not going to accept free money because of You think God? my love for my Lord and Savior is silly? No, I don't. Okay. But it seems to some people that don't believe in that very silly. It seems like a silly I'll situation. I have to say they're miserable beings for not accepting Obviously, I'm being a jerk in what I'm asking these people to do. They believe so strongly in something. And who am I to say it's not real? But what this footage documents and why I think it's special is that this represents everything that's wrong with religion. It's a complete disregard for common sense. I mean, I'm asking a homeless man with a wife and a child to cross out three letters on a sign, and I'm gonna give them $20 to do that, but he won't take the money because he's afraid of pissing off God. Your God will send you to hell for taking Absolutely my $20. Not. He so wouldn't. then take it. Cross no. out the God. No. Take it. It and isn't, buy some it money. isn't about buy going some food. to hell. It isn't about going what to hell. What is it about? It's about. Help me understand. I'm trying to if you shut up. <laughs> it's about this is my God. Yeah. And to me, what you're telling me is I am a worker of Satan. But Your $20 to me is the same as Satan offering Jesus bread when Jesus was starving in the desert. But that's for 40 a fairy days. tale. It's it not is a fairy not a fairy tale. tale. You don't think that's It is no. a Bible story. But listen, and it is the truth. no. You know what's not a fairy tale is you live in a miracle bus. That's true. That's not a fairy tale. That's real. Mm -hmm. This is a fairy tale. And this it's is the real. Bus. And it's and, twenty dollars. And you know I don't what? think I, it's you only see with your eyes. You're not seeing with your mind or your heart. So at this point in the conversation, we're just going around in circles. I mean, it seemed like there was no way to convince these people to think rationally. I mean, we're talking about a stupid sign worth 50 cents. But it's an interesting moral dilemma for a Christian. I mean, when you've hit rock bottom and you're living in an RV and you're begging for money outside of a Walmart with your wife and child in the cold, you're still programmed to think that this is all some kind of master plan. Like, you can't be held accountable since this is God's will. It's not free will. I don't have enough money to get you guys off the street, or I would. We don't want it. But we what I'm try, saying is, I'm saying, I'm saying, this is anyway. a sign. This is a sign worth 50 cents that I will give you 20 dollars for for crossing Actually, that off. Actually, this That's sign all I'm and the ink, all maybe <laughs> worth 20 cents. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. But you know I got what? a pen. I got 20 dollars. Let's make a deal. That's all I'm saying. How about I cross you out and you give me the 20 dollars? <laughs> is there any amount of money? Absolutely 30 dollars. No. 40 dollars. I'm not for a million dollars for a millisecond. A million dollars. Nope. If I handed you a check for a million dollars, if I had a million dollars, and asked you to cross the God off, you wouldn't cross not it Not even off. for no. a second. What? I don't, that makes no sense. You've got a son. Prove that Christians nope. can think with common sense. Christians can't this think is, with common this sense. This is not common sense. Yes, it is. This is it, faith is common sense. This faith is not. Yes. yes, it is. This is not a lot, but it's something for this. I'm trade. give me the sign for $20. Maybe that's easier. And Give me the sign. I'm doing with the sign. Crossing the God out. Then it's not going to happen. Why? Now, don't let it be said that I'm unreasonable. We finally came to an agreement, but in hindsight, it just looks ridiculous and childish. I mean, they're still selling out. They're still taking the 30 pieces of silver. We've come to an agreement. We're going to cut the God out. You have scissors? I have scissors. We're going to cut God off the sign. I'm going to give them the $20 in exchange. They keep the God. I take the sign? Sounds fair to me. All right, we got ourselves a deal. Remember, people who God view this, hell no. no, I'm keeping God, and you can have the garbage. All As right. a matter of fact, there's your sign. <laughs> now you can't use it to say, I traded God. I got God. And she's got God. I got God. And I have what's left of the sign. Yay, and look, and you're going to show the, show the God, too. We got the God? 
Yay, see, everybody's happy. I got the sign, he's got the money, she's got the God. We're good. All right, thank you guys for joining us. Stay tuned. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank God you. bless. <laughs> I really feel most sorry for the kid. I mean, what kind of future does he have growing up with parents that are so close-minded and militaristic about their religion? Parents that are so blinded to their situation by faith and thinking it's God who kicked their ass out onto the street. Accepting no personal accountability. And if these people can't learn to help themselves, who can help them? Hang in there, little buddy. And hopefully mommy and daddy didn't take your $20 and tithe it all away. Good luck.